Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. There's a flurry of activity again at the ball fields at Macon's Carolyn Creighton Park as construction crews look to make the place a real catch. Last year we first told you about delayed renovations at the park softball fields. As construction equipment sat silent for months, the weeds took over. Tonight, Anthony Montalto visited the ballpark to get an update on the plans. When I stood here last year, the entire place was overgrown, but now they've cleared most of the fields out, getting ready for new sod. And if you take a look over this way at field number six, you can see the sod is already down and they're pretty much done. Bulldozers are back. We've been working just over a year and a half to renovate this area. Um, yeah, we had to do some stoppage uh, due to the grass um, and getting that grass down in enough time to make it, let it grow. After a few months of silence and overgrown weeds at the Carolyn Creighton Park softball fields, a much different look now. Triscapes were able to move that, that overgrowth out fairly quickly. Um, it was more of a, like an overnight feel for me once they got on the ground and were uh, up and running. County commissioners approved the more than $1.5 million softball complex three years ago. It was only supposed to take eight to ten months. Walker says expanding some of the fields pushed back opening day. Which caused uh, for some utility uh, lines to be moved. Um, that has now been complete. Now that the work underground is finished, Walker says they have a quick timeline. We hope to be through with this uh, by the end of July uh, and then be up and running for a spring season with, uh, with softball here. And the much awaited return of the Macon Bibb County Softball League. It's been inactive since the renovation began. Uh, we get calls in the office every day about either a softball league or tournaments or the Flag City Shootout that was once here. Now Walker says they plan to start registration for that new softball league in February. They hope to have the first game in April. At Carolyn Creighton Park, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. Mayor Lester Miller says the county already has tournaments with hundreds of teams asking to come play. He says they have interest from youth, middle and high school travel tournaments. The county is using SPLOS money to pay for the updates.